Now here we go, Carson Royal. Sets up, looks to pass, has time. Carson fires down, got a man. 40, 45, midfield. 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Touchdown, Bam U. Hit and drop. Ooh. Looking to pass again. Round is out and sacked. Pulls it now. Shoots across the middle. Touchdown, Bam U. Right on the money. And the Rattlers are back. Flushed out of the pocket. Rattlers have a spot. Can we make the tackle? We do. Fires for the end zone. This one is picked off. That's around the first down. Move those chains. Touchdown, Bam U. Down to the five yard line. Move those chains. It's a first down for Florida AM. It's fired. It's picked, picked off. The Rattlers with 45 seconds left have shut the door. Keith Myers, your host, along with the head rattler, Coach Earl Holmes. And Coach, the Rattlers came back home to take on the Delaware State Hornets, the number three team in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, after almost knocking off the number two team, South Carolina State, a week ago up in Orangeburg. We knew this was going to be a big battle. Not only that, Keith, you know, every time we play Dell State, it's always a tug of war. And it's the team that uh, has the ball last year to get the win. But uh, Dell's a good team. And uh, Coach Comet Blunt, I said earlier, he's a uh, He's doing some special things up there in Dell State, and uh, what we wanted to do, we just wanted to match out their intensity and start fast and finish strong. Something a little different about this game, though, uh, a different quarterback. Mm -hmm. It was Carson Royal. Uh, he took all the reps in practice this mm -hmm. week as Damian got hurt in the mm -hmm. South Carolina State game. And I know your expectations were high, and uh, he delivered. Uh, you know what, Keith, to, to be honest with you, you know, you look back at this season and where we're at this point, you know, young guys are stepping up. And it's been that kind of year where, you know, a guy's only one play away from playing. And uh, Carson had an excellent week of work. And uh, the thing about getting experience should actually be live when the bullets are going. So uh, he, he stood in the pain, and uh, his decision-making was there. I, I thought it was very poor. And uh, he made some key throws in there for us. And he moved offense. But it seemed like when he started cramping a little bit, he kind of lost his momentum. All right. Uh, it was a, a, a MEAC matchup. It was mm -hmm. FAMU and Delaware State. And it was an opportunity for you to begin sending the rest of the conference a statement about the Earl Holmes era at FAMU coming for the future. And uh, I think around the league, they're beginning to realize what you're putting together. We, we're going to play for 60 minutes, Keith. You know, when you're talking about putting a product out there that everybody likes to see and they understand what's going to happen, you know, the thing that's been, you know, tremendous encouraging to me, you know, because, you know, no one likes to lose. And you're looking at us right now, we only have three wins. But you look at those games and closely evaluate them, and you can see where a play here, a play there, we get the W. You know, uh, Dell State has won the close games, and uh, we've been losing the close game. But that comes along with experience. And, yeah, it's like today, you know, we even played our third-string quarterback. But you look at – it's putting money in the bank, Keith, to be honest with you, because here it is freshmen, you know, going in and starting fast, putting what, 21 points. We haven't done that all year. So that's a positive sign, but everybody wants to win now, which I want to win now. But, you know, wrong one built in a day, and I continue to say, you know, I'm building a foundation. And once I have that foundation solid as oak, the house will never fall. All right, we're going to come back and take a look at first half highlights of FAMU and Delaware State this time out on the Coach Girl Home Show. You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is going to be a bad day. You have headaches, neck pain back pain, well call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways, at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. Metron Contracting is a certified minority business specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. Welcome back to the Coach Earl Home Show. Coach, uh, Delaware State journey down from mm -hmm. Dover, Delaware, to take on the Rattlers. It's the final home game of the 2013 season and a special day for the graduating seniors. Well, well you would want to send out with a bang. You know, it was senior day, and uh, 
you get a chance to really look back and reminisce when you sign these kids out of high school and you see four years later that they have gone through the program, now they're young men ready to do a lot of productive things in uh, society. And the good thing about it is all our seniors are on, on point to graduate. In fact, uh, we have two, uh, two kids already, uh, John Ojo, is already graduated. And um, you look at Pillow, those guys, they graduate this fall. So it's, all, it's always good, you know, going through the program, you know, making uh, boys to men. And that's what it's about. And uh, I'm proud of these kids, you know, regardless of what and how the other season ended up, I'm very proud of because these guys are achievers because they find a way to put their hard hats on and go to work. And they showed on the field as well in the classroom. All right, let's go to work and go look at the first half highlights of FAMU and Delaware State. Okay. Here we go. Uh, the Rattlers won the toss, elected to receive, decked down in our black uniforms today, Coach Orange Helmets, of course. And here we go, the Jet. Uh, James Owens trying to pick right up where he left off well, last kid, week. We wanted to start fast, and uh, we, we did that. But uh, we want they, we know they're going to take some shots on the defense side of the ball. But listen, when you respect people's special teams, they're going to give us good field position like that. We're going to take it. Speaking of youngsters, Darren Parker there, big play uh, early in the ball game. Mike Ducree had an outstanding game uh, today, Coach. We'll talk more about him later in the show. But uh, uh, once again, Defensively, uh, things were looking good. Good kick coverage down here. And uh, here we go. This is Delaware State on offense. And boy, look at that the Rattler defense. Well, you know what, Keith? When you got 11 guys to the ball each and every time, you give yourself a chance to win. And uh, when you're winning your one on ones and putting pressure on the quarterback, that's what it's about. You know, the game we won in the trenches. And up front, Michael Lovejoy, uh, Frank Mays, those guys are doing an exceptionally well job for us with a lot of running backs to run. I uh, give Costa some credit here. He looked down to his third option. That shows some leadership and also some experience, but he doesn't mind bites on a check down. Takes the ball 70 yards for a touchdown, and then uh, we started fast for, since then. The old wheel route, their mm. coach and our videographer and uh, video <laughs> engineer, Jeff Walker, they will never let you forget that. He's been telling you to run the wheel play. right He's been calling that play yeah. year long. Yeah. But here's a great job again by Curtis Alexander, another true freshman, calls a fumble, and we get a chance to get the offense back the ball. Uh, I thought for the most part, Carson did a great job. You know, yeah. he was a great pass to Casey Glines, he's 6'6", taking advantage of a smaller guy, and uh, he was everywhere. And that's what you want. You know, you want to look at your one and two and three options and spread that thing around so people can't game plan. Yeah, 32-yard touchdown pass from uh, Carson to Casey Glines and Chase Ans, the extra point. And uh, we're on a roll right here. Coach, they fumbled the football uh, and we come up and Keith, get it. You know, not only we came up and got the ball, we actually handed the ball to the officials and they said they'll stay ball and they end up getting the ball. But, you know, we got to find a way to play through that. But again, pressure, bus pipe, here's Jonathan Pill on the interception. So we want to get offense back the ball as much as possible. We are, One of our goals is to make sure we get offense short field and to create two turnovers. Yeah, Jonathan Pillow. An outstanding uh, young man uh, playing his last home game in Bragg Stadium. And here we go. Uh, the Rattlers come right back to uh, Casey and uh, another great <laughs> catch. I, I think everybody in the stands knew the ball was going to Casey. And uh, what I like about it, Carson's putting the ball high enough in a place where only Casey can catch it. But here's a good job here where we got blew the guy up in the front, McBurst running hard, falling forward, and that's kind of taking some pressure off the quarterback. But again, you know, defense turning and running and swarming, that's the picture you want. You, when a guy look up and you see six or seven guys around him, he's looking for his teammates. So that's a good sign for us. Yeah. But again, you know, guys play well. I, I, you know, either way, we got our hands on this ball, but, you know, the tide's going to go to the offense. But uh, the decree, like you talked about earlier, he was everywhere. Yeah, Corey Murphy's an outstanding passing quarterback for Delaware State coach, but they pulled him early in the first half and went to Obado. And, uh, man, I mean, boy, the rally defense was causing all kind of havoc in that yeah, back. Defense wins championships, you know, but we're going to get better, Keith. You know, again, we're talking about row one built in a day and see guys get that experience. Here's a young guy, again, Carson stepping up, hitting right over the middle to uh, Jay, uh, Dennis Hall, which is a great catch to keep the chains moving. Yeah, Dennis Hall had a couple of outstanding catches and uh, moving that offense right down the field. And uh, here we go. This is uh, Carson once again. And stepping step, up, step stepping up in the pocket oh, and delivering. Great pass, great, great pass. pass. And you notice he's passing around. You gotta, you don't have one or two guys catching the ball. He's going to his second and third option. That shows maturity and uh, the future looks bright for him. All right, here we go. Carson under center now and going to throw that fade once again. We, we didn't put it. enough air on it, Keith. You know, one thing about throwing the fade, you want to throw it up and outside. So at the end of the day, if it's a tip pass or anything like that, the worst thing happened to bounce out of bounds. But again, the young guy, you know, everything wasn't picture perfect. But at the same time, I was very impressed with the team overall. You know, I'm talking about offense, defense, as well as special teams, because 
special team started this thing out for us, Keith, and they actually tried to squib kick on us because it shows respect from last week to this week. Uh, Rattlers put 21 points on the board, Coach, uh, going into halftime with, under Casey. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is probably the most he's played. He did get some uh, action against Mississippi Valley in he the did. season he opening did. game. But uh, but he started today. It was his his game, and uh, he started off uh, just like you wanted him to. You know what? Not only that, Keith, it, it was good to see him step up in the pocket. You know, everybody sees Carson on the weekends. Mm -hmm. But you see this kid throughout the day, throughout the week, really working on his craft, really watching film really wants to be successful. You only can wish best for a kid like that. And then it's going to pay big dividends for him. I told him, hey, listen, some things you can't control, but you continue to play, you continue to be a student of the game, and a lot of positive things are going to happen to you on the football field. All right, we're going to come back and take a look at second half highlights of FAMU and Delaware State right after this timeout on the Coach Earl Holmes Show. Our community is amazing but we can always make it better. Let's give the children the encouragement and education they deserve. I'm Brian Bullwear, and I care about our community. That's what makes Palmetto Security Services a dedicated company. program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. Our community is amazing, but we can always make it better. Let's give the children the encouragement and education they deserve. I'm Brian Bullwear, and I care about our community. That's what makes Palmetto Security Services a dedicated company. Welcome back to the Coach Earl Home Show. 21-10, Coach, at half. Uh, the Rattlers leading uh, Delaware State. Uh, looking real good. I know mm -hmm. you were feeling good about uh, what was going on in that first half. Well, not only that, but we talked about it being a 60-minute game. And I said, Delaware State is not done yet. You know, we, we got to understand we want to get their best blow the second half. We got to be able to sustain that blow and also deliver some blows. But, um, you know, again, the game is always won in the trenches. We got to make sure we win the turnover ratio. And uh, that kind of hurt us in the second half. You know, when you're talking about starting fast and finishing strong, that's your first half and your second half. And we, we started fast. Like I said, we got 21 points. I think the first time this season. But we wanted to finish strong. But uh, certain things we could talk about to keep that didn't happen and didn't work our way. And I don't want to be the one to criticize, I'll let you all be the judge of that. But at the same time, you know, when you had that momentum, you got to sustain it. When you lose it, it's hard to gain back. All right, let's go to second half highlights. And uh, we're going to kick off to Delaware State. And Coach, you're right. Uh, Delaware State was not done yet. They, we're going to get their best shot in the second half. But even with their best shot, there were some things that, uh, uh, you know, some things that shouldn't have probably happened in the game. And, but you know, Keith, you got to continue to fly around. You know, I tell the guys, listen, the Fisher's going to make seven bad calls. And you just know that going in the game, but those, those seven bad calls sometimes can break our back. But there's a, a tremendous pick. play by uh, Terry here, you know, coming up with the interception. You get it, giving offense back the ball. So here it is, uh, James Owens, we run him, we fall him forward, and we got to continue to do that and uh, dictate the game because once you're up, you got to learn where to kill a mosquito and axe. Mm -hmm. You can't give your opponents in the breathing rule. But here's Mike Morris, you know, from the young guy, sophomore. Catching the ball and running up, turn up yeah, field. Mike Etheridge, his, uh, he's the understudy for Etheridge. Etheridge is a senior, right, and here's right. Mike Morris, a sophomore. He, boy, you, you just see the future it, coming it, to it, you. Money in the bank here. You know, but we got to continue to play hard. We got to continue to work on the fundamentals. We got to continue to build what we're trying to build. And I tell you, it's going to be a great thing when we're done with it. All right, Corey Murphy is back at quarterback now for Delaware State. And that offense going to open up. They're going to start trying to throw that ball around a little bit more and take advantage of the running situations when, you know, when we give them uh, uh, the, the fast defense. But yeah, yeah, but, hey, you know, at the end of the day, we got to make some plays. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we made some plays in the first half. They weren't able to make any plays in the first half. But we got to continue to make plays in the second half and keep the defense off the field. All right, at this point, uh, Carson goes out with some cramps, and we're down to our third team quarterback right now. And this this play, uh, John Ojo was keep, ejected for this play. I keep, I talk about it, I continue to talk about it. You know, 
these are momentum plays that breaks the camel's back. You know, you talking about a guy. I mean, you look at that. That's shoulder pad to shoulder pad. Yeah. There's nothing uh, illegal about that. And we're going to turn it into it because we got to have Ojo back because the rule is once a kid get ejected, then he has to miss the, the, the following game at least two quarters. Yeah, here we go. Here's Lindbergh again. Yep. You know, you got to admire Carson for finding the third and fourth guy down there. Now, here's hard, tough running by Bice. <laughs> Yeah. You, you know, Keith, again, you talk about those seven bad calls they're going to have, but this is the one that really hurt because not only is it a bad call, you turn around and you get a touchdown on it, but we find a way to keep fighting. You know, guys got to, you know, the referee is going to make their calls, their judgment calls, but at the end of the day, we got to keep playing. Yeah, we saw the vice run uh, several times, too, and not only was his knee down and his arm down, uh, so he, he should have been ruled down. But. No, it, it, it is, Keith, but you got to keep your guys going. But that's what I'm talking about, the 12th man. Right. We got to have that support. You got to have right. a 12th man because that helps restore and put the momentum back on the offensive side to get the team back in the game. Because you're going to have some plays that are ebb and flow when things go wrong. You got to build your team back up. That's why it's critical that the 12th man be out there and always support and be there each and every week, win, lose, or draw. Yeah, and we got to get around the fans to show up, win, lose, or draw. And actually, sometimes they can intimidate some of those calls, too, uh, by being that 12th Well, man. you, you got to get a referee something. You know, when they make bad plays and uh, bad calls, you want to get on about that. But yeah. again, Keith, you know, it's, it's all about continuing to move forward and we helping each other. Right. Because when you come to Bragg Stadium, we supposed to have a pack house. It should be so noisy that they can't hear anything. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Deep pass down here. This is at the very end of the ball game, and uh, uh, it falls incomplete, and that's the way it ends. The final score, uh, 29 to 21. And coach, I like to put an asterisk by it because of a couple of plays <laughs> that happened in there. Of course, we can't do that, uh, but hopefully, we once you send the video into the conference office, maybe we can appeal that Ojo ruling, and uh, John will be uh, ready to play next you week. No, no, you wish you could appeal the. the Bice being down too, too yeah. you know, as well as that catch on the yeah, sideline. Yeah. Keep, but you know, it's when you tell your kids to fight and play for sixty minutes. That's all you can ask them to do. You know, those judgment calls, believe they happen at the wrong time. But at the same time, you know, we saw a lot of good things. Mm -hmm. And um, again, you know, wrong one built in a day, keep. But I do see the growth, and to play through those calls and and to keep the momentum going, and guys still raise a focus on trying to win the game and actually had a chance to win the game, mm -hmm. you know, with playing with, even with your third string quarterback, you know, but you keep working, keep. The only way I, I know how to keep getting better is to keep working. And there's, you know, that's the key to success. And uh, these kids, are, they're working their butts off and we're working to get it right, you know, but um, again, we have to do some things in-house as far as, you know, intimidating mm -hmm. all opponents with the crowd noise, intimidating the officials, you know, the, make sure they raise a shop on the calls that they're making. Mm -hmm. But when you don't have that, that support or you don't have a 12th man out there, it makes things a little difficult. But, you know, when you have that 12th man, it, it brings that, that noise and mm -hmm. it brings that momentum back because uh, the kids play their heart out. Keep, they, they really are. And, then, um, you know, again, I, I'm, I'm very disappointed in the win. But at the same time, when you analyze this thing, you really look at it. And I'm, you know, I'm trying to be careful the words that I'm using because I don't want to criticize or make any excuses. Mm -hmm. But... Those, those calls, you know, that it, it takes a lot out of you. Mm -hmm. And especially a young team, an inexperienced team. But for those guys to continue to fight and continue to play for 60 minutes, that says a lot about me. All right, Coach, uh, we're going to go to break. And as we go, we'll take a look at final statistics. And we'll come back with a whole lot more after this timeout on the Coach Earl Home Show. You've been involved in an accident. You feel like today is gonna to be a bad day. You have headaches, neck pain, back pain. Well, call us here at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab where we have your neck and your back. Call me, Dr. Ways, at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab. We're located at 1711 South Gaston Street. Tallahassee Accident and Rehab, your local accident doctors. Call us at Tallahassee Accident and Rehab where you control your case. We got your neck and your back. Some of the things we were able to purchase this year was the Jumbotron, and we assisted with the scoreboard and the Al Lawson Center, and golf carts for our seasoned Rattler Booster supporters, pitching machine for the baseball team, the shooting machine for the basketball team. So the Rattler Booster program supports all athletic programs. Join the Booster Club. Call the Rattler Booster office at 850-224-6093. It's not too late.
Coach Earl Holmes Show. Let's take a look at this week's players of the game. And on offense, Coach, it's Carson Royal. You threw him in under live bullets, as you like to say, <laughs> and uh, he completed 18 of 24 passes. He did toss three interceptions, but he passed for 277 yards, three touchdowns, 81 long. Uh, man, Carson Royal, uh, in his in his debut, so to speak, Coach, uh, gave you uh, just about everything you could ask. You know, Keith, when you look at those numbers and you hear those numbers, you know, it's music to my ears. The only thing we got to eliminate is those three interceptions, you know, and, um, you know, one half on a crucial time down the goal line. But you know what? To have numbers like that for your, your debut, you know, freshman, to come in and uh, pause and play on a good defense because they'll run that 3-3 stack defense, I thought they did a tremendous job. Defensively, Coach, uh, you know I like defense to him, old defensive player. But Mike Ducree was just, this was his last game at Bragg State, and he left it all out on the field, Coach. Eight total tackles, eight solo, mm -hmm. uh, one sack, one tackle for loss, and a fumble recovery. Man, what kind of performance this, was that? This kid has been solid for the whole year. You know, he's one of those players that you truly, you're going to miss. You know, Ducree was a, a walk-on here who earned a full scholarship, never complained, always worked to get better. And here it is, he's the captain of the defense and playing at a very high level, lining people up and another defensive coordinator out there. So uh, you tip your hat off to a guy like that who uh, tried to make a little bit of nothing to a little bit of something. And special teams coach, it was Lamont Bice, uh, all-purpose yards, 116, 17 yards rushing, 81 yards receiving, and 18 yards on kick returns. Lamont Bice is becoming a... Uh, an all-purpose guy. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, here it is each and every week we're talking about a different guy. Mm -hmm. You know, last week it was James Owens mm -hmm. on special team. This week is Mon Bice on special teams. In fact, Bice really got a start last mm -hmm. week and it's carrying over to this week. So uh, that's contagious and that's what you want. You know, uh, Bice is junior. Uh, got another year next year. And uh, a guy, again, the kid is playing hard and he's a student of the game. And uh, you, you always root for a kid like that on Saturdays because he puts the work in throughout the week. All right, Coach, we're going to go to break. And as we go, We'll take a look at some scores from around the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference from the weekend and the MEAC standings, and we'll come back with some final thoughts on this week's Coach Earl Holmes Show. Stay tuned. program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. Metron Contracting is a certified minority business specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. I'm Mickey Clayton, Executive Director of the Randall Booster Club. The Randall Booster Club contributed $591,000 to the Athletic Department of Florida a and University. Some of the things we were able to purchase this year was the Jumbotron, and we assisted with the scoreboard and the Al Lawson Center, and golf carts for our seasoned Rattler Booster supporters, pitching machine for the baseball team, the shooting machine for the basketball team. So the Rattler Booster program supports all athletic programs. Join the Booster Club. Call the Rattler Booster office at 850-224-6093. It's not too late.
Welcome back to the Coach Earl Home Show. Coach, well, don't need much introduction for the next game. It's uh, it's the one that folks wait for all year long, and it's uh, it's the Florida Classic down in Orlando against uh, our arch rival Bethune Cookman. Uh, the Wildcats having a tremendous year, uh, rolling right through the conference. Except they had that hiccup with Norfolk State uh, the week after we beat Norfolk mm -hmm. State up in Norfolk, mm -hmm. and uh, and now these two teams are going to collide in Orlando. Well, it showed a lot of parity in our conference. You know, it shows that on any given Saturday, anything can happen. You can't take anybody for granted. And if you look around, you know, our conference, you know, people are losing by three to six points or touchdown here or there. So they're close games, and it comes down to those four or five plays. But, hey, it is BCU. It's, this is uh, uh, rival weekend, and, um, you know, both schools have a lot of tradition. Uh, uh, Jenkins is doing a very good job with his team down there, but we all know records out the door when we play at uh, BCU. Yeah, it's uh, it's for state bragging rights mm -hmm. as well, and also some state recruiting rights mm -hmm. uh, uh, go to the to the victor go to spoils in, in this ball game. It is, it is, and it's a lot on the line, you know. But at the same time, you know, we we know people gonna we're gonna be up for that game. He's gonna be up there for that game because again, it's not about records. It's not about this or that. It's about bragging rights, state bragging rights. And I recall him holding up a belt or something like that last year, some championship belt or something like that. But at the end of the day, these guys, a lot of these guys attend the same high school, went to high school together. So it's about getting after it. It's going to be a, a good football game. I, and I always say, and I continue to say, the team that turns the ball over the least amount, that's the team that's going to get the W. And one of the things you addressed and one of the things we want to say to our fans is we're going to need you in Orlando, and we need you to show up and be that loud, proud 12th man for the Rattlers when we go into this Florida Classic against Bethune-Cookman because it is still a very big football game. It is. And each and every weekend is, Keith. And, you know, when you're talking about, you know, building something, when you're talking about, you know, really establishing yourself and establishing a program, you know, things take time. But, you know, the, the kids deserve to see, the kids deserve to have that support. Because, you know, they, each and every week, Keith, regardless of what we have to overcome, because if you look back at it, you're talking about a play here, a play there, or a bad call here or there, and you're talking about a different result. But most importantly, you know, these young guys are getting experience. And, um, and you know, money in the bank, like I said earlier, but, you know, we, we, we have to have that 12th man because believe me when I tell you, it makes a big difference. You know, you're talking about a guy who played in the NFL for 10 years, was an All-American here, a Hall of Famer here, and, and it's nothing more satisfying when you look in the stands and see everybody there from a family member to the guy just wash your car, the guy who cuts your hair. It means a lot more to get that extra incentive to play hard. Yeah. All right, Coach, we're going to ask Rattler fans to make that journey on down to Orlando and cheer the Rattlers on. And, of course, we'll have all of the highlights for you right here next week on the Coach Earl Palmer Show. Rattlers got him. Sacked! Pulls it now, shoots across the...